Whether you live life day by day or participate in New Year resolutions, it's important to know what works best for you. 7 News reporter Seth Marcicano spoke with an official from Comanche County Memorial Hospital and a few members of the community to learn whether or not they participate in setting resolutions. I don't do it, Seth, but what did you find out? Sorry, many of the people I spoke with earlier today actually didn't make a re resolution, but those who did shared a few pieces of advice on how to stick with it through the year. A lot of times people with New Year's resolutions, they try to change a whole bunch of things at once. They try to completely change their diet. They want to start going to the gym five days a week. Um, and what they end up doing is they end up burning themselves out. Whether it's eating healthier, reading more books, or being more financially responsible, Garibe, a family nurse practitioner with Comanche County Memorial Hospital, says it's important to set realistic expectations. We are aiming for progress, not perfection. We don't need to save the world overnight. We need to make small, consistent baby steps, and those are going to be what add up to big wins. A lot in woman says she wants to focus this year on her kids, and setting goals is how you move forward in life. Sticking with it, it, it gets you to go further in life. If you're just um, basically just going through every single day and you don't have any goals to look forward to, generally you just kind of stay still and stagnant and you don't get to move around a lot. And this way, if you have a new goal on, you can work on getting that goal done. Another community member says he lives day by day through religion because the future isn't guaranteed. That's basically what we have. Because yesterday is past, today is what we live for, and tomorrow's not promised for us. So therefore, it is a day-by-day -day thing, and it's based upon what you believe and who you believe. Hall says life doesn't reset after the new year. Because the same problems that you had yesterday in, in, in 2023, they're going to follow you over to 2024. But the thing of it is, is how are you going to handle it in 2024? Are you going to make better decisions in 2024? Or are you going to make the same mistakes that you made in 2023? However, both Solberg and Hall say giving yourself a constant reminder to the reason why you're wanting to change is the best way to stick with any goals you set. Garibay reminds us there's nothing magical about January 1st. It boils down to the drive of the individual. Garibay also says if you fall short of your resolution or any goal in life, there's always tomorrow. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Seth Marsicano. I still refuse to have one.